house music, R&B, <laughs> hip hop, pop, I still can't reggae, EDM, <laughs> indie, old school, <laughs> Check it. and sports talk, right here, WorldStarHitRadio.com. Don't be Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Jacqueline Waller with Connecting Atlanta Radio, hosted on the number one hottest hit, like hittest, whatever, radio station or online radio station in the United States, the fastest growing worldstarhitradio.com. And we have a special guest today, uh, Mr. Kendall Hunter, who is a um, gospel singer, a... Uh, life changer, and uh, so many other amazing things. And uh, I'm going to start the uh, interview off with one of his songs that he's already created uh, that came out about a year or so ago called Brighter Day. Life can change so suddenly Shattered dreams and broken promises Leaving you to feel so hopeless and to feel like no one cares But just remember in your darkest hour There's still a light at the end of the tunnel And though it may seem so impossible I wrote this song for you to know Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, I believe gonna be a bright day Oh I, oh I, oh I, oh I, oh I, oh I, I believe somewhere there's gonna be a bright day So many things are going on Many lost their charms and their homes Leaving them to wonder how they're gonna survive Asking questions like, Lord, why? So don't be dismayed, hold to your faith Tell feeling anxiety that it has no place The midnight is over, I can see the breaking up day Where you are and now, you won't be there always Oh, I There's gonna be a brighter day. I believe it in my heart. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I believe somewhere there's gonna be a brighter day. Oh, if you can see the sea, I believe. Yes, I believe. Yes. That is such a beautiful song, even a few years later after you recorded it and submitted it. And it's interesting to see that you might have written that song for yourself and you never knew it uh, <laughs> for wow. all the changes that you have been going through uh, last year and this year and yes. um, the new places wow. that I believe that the Lord is bringing you yes. and, um, and so forth. So I think that's, that's awesome. Absolutely, it's amazing. <laughs> so, uh, so tell us a 
a little bit about, so this was, this song uh, you published, it was, I guess, like three years ago or something like that, right? Yeah. Was it three? Okay, yeah. Probably I know originally it was like a year, but, but yeah, yes. it was like three or four years mm -hmm. ago. Mm -hmm. So um, have you been in the studio since then and done anything since then? Or? Yes, I have. Okay. Uh, recently I have, and uh, let me just say it's so good to be here with Jacqueline. <laughs> woo -hoo 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 -hoo. When I saw the name first initially, uh, I was just so excited because, you know, you share the same name. My awesome, uh, my superhero, uh, which is my beloved mother, Jacqueline, <laughs> and uh, rest in heaven. And uh, so when I saw the name, I was already like, hey, you know, we already connected already. Right. <laughs> and then when you told me you was from Fort Lickerdale, Fort Lauderdale, <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, we're connected for real. So I'm, I'm so excited. Uh, but, yes, this song and this music has... Uh, it's been really blessing me and, and so many others, and I'm just glad to uh, be back in the studio finally um, and doing some work now and get ready to release my uh, a new single. Well, there's a few of the songs I'm doing, the EP, and also my new book that is coming out uh, later this summer. So I'm awesome. really excited. Awesome. Yes. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. What's the, can you give us the name of the book? Or uh, Yes, the book is called The Weight of My Past. Okay. And uh, it's going to be dealing with and talking about uh, you know, share my story of, of this transformation that I'm going through. And, okay. And uh, I'm really, really excited about it. we share with people. Tell us a little bit about this transformation and, like, what made you decide to get there? And uh, You know, this has been something that I've battled with, you know, basically my whole life. So mm -hmm. I decided that, uh, you know, either you deal with it or it will deal with you. Right. And uh, so it's been dealing with me and I said, you know what, no longer I want to, you know, want this to continue to deal with me and I'm going to deal with it. And uh, you cannot change anything that you're not willing to face. Right. And, that's, uh, wow, that's powerful. Yeah. yeah. And you can't change anything that you're not willing to face. So you got to be willing to admit it. Uh, you have to be willing to face it and call it what it is. And then pick up the pieces and try to put your life into place together. Mm -hmm. And that's what I've been doing, mm -hmm. uh, literally. So um, God has been faithful and, um, and, and towards doing that is it's been a very, very uh, difficult journey. And it's I've said it so many times that it has been the uh, the biggest fight of my life. Mm -hmm. And uh, since the uh, and the biggest thing I think I've ever went through since the uh, uh, sudden passing of my mother. Mm. And uh, so, you know, I, I went through that and then now I'm going through this phase of my life and it's just been very difficult. But when I tell you that the, the strength of God has been with me, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, literally, uh, the strength of God has been with me every single day and every single uh, walk of this journey that I'm on. That's awesome. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. That's awesome. Congratulations. So, do you want to tell people what this journey is? <laughs> yeah. I, well, well, every everything is new. I mean, literally everything is new. I mean, my life is new. Uh, you know, my uh, physical transformation is new, and I'm still going through it. I, I've been blessed and uh, with a lot of hard work and support from. Uh, Hey, want to give a big shout out to D Darrell Gamble, <laughs> and uh, who who was my trainer, and uh, I enrolled in boot camp, uh, uh -huh. yeah, maybe about uh, ten months ago. Or okay, so. and um, I just said, you know, again, I, I was tired of this being where I was, mm -hmm. spending basically my life. Which the book will reveal a whole lot of things that I, I went through in my life. Okay. Um, uh, to get me to where I am, and I finally diagnosed where I was, and it was called emotional obesity. Mmm. And you know, which you, I'm sure a lot of people are exactly there. I, absolutely. So, yeah. Oh yeah, emotional obesity. And you know, guess what? You can be an emotional eater and not be obese. Mmm. Yeah, because you have a fast metabolism. Yeah. You know, and uh, so. Because of that, you know, some people' uh, metabolism is, is slower and faster than others. Mm -hmm. uh, mine is just like a turtle. It decides when it's going to go, and it just takes its little time. And so because of that, um, uh, I, you know, put on the pounds. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it was just a continuous journey for me. And, uh, I, it, you know, by the time I got to almost 300 pounds, it was, wow. like, it was like, whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh oh. All right, you 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 really got to deal with this now. Yeah. And um and so and so many of the things led to that. Yeah. Um and but I'm glad because all of the things that I went through, all of the pain, 
uh, push me towards my purpose. Mm, okay. and, and now I'm able to help others and, and to deal with emotional obesity. And so I'm dealing with it, you know, head and, you know, head on. And I've been on this journey again, like I said, uh, since 10 months ago, uh, 10 months or so, and uh, 73 pounds down. Mm. Uh, I got about 30 plus more to go. Okay, okay. And, uh, because I'm on the road to 100 pounds. <laughs> yes, and I'm determined to get there. That's awesome. And you obviously will get there in, because it didn't happen overnight to no, get the, to where you're Absolutely at. Not. And it doesn't, as much as we'd want to... Uh, happen overnight for it to all go away. Right, absolutely. <laughs> it doesn't happen either. So I wish. Yeah, right. <laughs> I wish there was a magic pill that you can take and it's it's gone. You wake up and it's over. But uh, you no, know, you have to work. You you know your way through it. Yeah. So uh, with the um, uh, with like your new songs and stuff like that. So do you so you do gospel singing and you do uh, a lot of other stuff. So share a little bit about some other things that you have going on. Uh, who is Kendall Hunter on a day to day uh, basis? Well, I am uh, now. I am, and I have been for the past ten years. The uh, minister of music of the New Mountain Top Baptist Church in, okay. in Winston, Georgia, and and I'm there serving with uh, my pastor, Bishop A. Reginald Lipman. Uh, and uh, it has been uh, an honor and pleasure to serve them um, as a full-time minister of music and worship leader mm -hmm. um, of the worship and arts ministry there. So um, I'm doing that, you know, full-time as well. And, and of course, I'm also mentoring mm -hmm. and producing. And uh, it's just it's been a lot going on since my last project. And I actually decided to take a break from the music industry mm -hmm. so that I can get on this journey because, you know, uh, the journey that I'm on, it does require, it requires energy, it requires, you know, uh, your time, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you being uh, able to be up on your feet and be able to minister without, you know, losing your wind and losing your breath yeah. and about to pass out and that kind of thing. So, you know, which I, I went through that, you know, and I was just, just tired of it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I knew that I had to take a break in order to get myself together. And, yeah. And, and I, and, and it was once said to me, that once you can discipline yourself to do this and conquer this, everything else in your life, you'll be able to conquer. Right. And That's that, true. Yeah. And so this was the biggest thing in my life that mm -hmm. I needed to conquer. And when I started to to take on this this awesome task, uh, which I call it, uh, um, you know, the biggest giant of my life, mm -hmm. um, everything else started falling into place. But I had to first take a break from everything and deal with Kendall Hunter. Yeah. And so many times, you know, we get busy, uh, just we keep running and neglecting ourselves, mm -hmm. neglecting our spirit, man. Um, you know, we, we want to be superhero and superman to everybody else. Right. And uh, But we know that we're, you know, suffering on the inside. Yeah. Uh, you know, in silence. Yeah. You know, suffering in silence. And that's what I was doing. Uh, but on the outside, I was trying to be there for everybody and uh, was neglecting me. And, and then I had to learn to love me. Yeah. I had to learn to love me enough to want to put in the work to better myself. Yeah. And uh, so that there, that moment mm -hmm. for me was just life changing all by itself. Mm. And uh, so now when I, once I'm, I'm back and released to the music industry, uh, which I'm so happy to return back this year, um, it's it's like I just feel so good. I was at the Jose Feed the Hungry on uh, a few days ago. Mm -hmm. uh, they had me as the guest there, and uh, it was so awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be able to share with the homeless people of Atlanta, and uh, we was on the stage, and I mean, literally, it was just like I almost didn't want to come off. <laughs> I mean, my, my my energy and and just giving to the people, and they wanted more, and they were just so excited, and they were just hungry and yeah. thirsty for it. And, and I just feel like giving, you know, yeah. and, um, you know, I can tell that, you know, my energy and some of the people at my church say, <laughs> they say, who is that guy on the stage now? I mean, who, who is that guy that's leading us in the worship and directing the choir? Right. Um, I'm like, I'm all over the place it's because I have this energy. I just feel brand new. Yeah. And that's the only way I can describe it is that there has literally been a change in my life as a whole. 
and now I feel like I am whole. That's awesome. Yes, That's absolutely. That's awesome. Yeah, and you definitely, uh, you know, you can see that, your excitement. Oh, thank you. And uh, through, like, because we follow each other on Facebook. Yes, and, absolutely. And through posts on that. Yes, and, uh, yes. And I'm going to call you out. I'm just going to oh, say oh. I interviewed him. Four years ago, oh, gosh. <laughs> on my, when I was with my other company, when I had my other company, Clean Free Fun, wow. and my, on my radio station, and he was like, I do not remember being right. interviewed by you. <laughs> and I'm going to say oh, this, after that, I got you the interview at Love 860 with Angela and uh, um, uh, Reggie. Reggie, okay. Remember them when you went into the station there and interviewed? Yeah. To Love 860, I'm the one that introduced you to them. That's right. Her name is Angela, right? Right. Angela yes. and Reggie. I love 860 Absolutely. when they had a show on there. Yeah. So. Oh, wow. I remember that. <laughs> you were the connecting guy. Uh, yes, I was the connecting guy. Hey, See how it all comes hey, together? Right. It's connecting Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> So, wow, I about that. Jeez. so, um, but anyhow, but I just and, and I was mesmer mesmerized by your music and oh wow, you Thank definitely you are so uh, through your posts make a positive impact in other people's lives and really uh, and even myself of days that where I felt um, down and depressed have provided hope and restoration of my oh, own wow. spirit. And I know that um, you're definitely doing that for others. And wow. and so since you have this gift of really kind of motivate, not kind of, but a gift of motivation and, and inspiration wow. and encouragement and really helping, um, which I'm glad you took this time off because Kendall needed to have his bucket filled back up. Oh, wow. So yes. so you, now, you oh, out, wow. now you have an opportunity to go out there and show Amen. the change and the difference and, and go back to continue Amen. to fill other people's buckets up but as you're going through that and you start moving into that process don't ever forget yes. that you always need to take time for you Absolutely. and for your own restoration and stuff yes. like that Very but, important. but um so do you ever go out and do like if you got called out or do you ever go out and do speaking engagements like you did with Hosea Feed the Hungry yes. or yes. with other companies and stuff like that too or yes I just tell us about that yes I'm excited I'm, I guess I'm going to give the news now it's going to wait to <laughs> give the news on Facebook Ooh, we get it we get it first <laughs> But I am now partnering with uh, Choices. Okay. Uh, Choices is uh, here in Atlanta, and um, it is for childhood obesity. Okay. And fighting obesity here in Atlanta. And um, I'm just starting to partner about my first uh, engagement, and my first uh, guest appearance will be with them on April the 12th. Nice. And uh, so I'm excited about sharing with them, and it's a very good uh, company that... Um, that that really pours into the hearts of you know a lot of the young ladies mm -hmm. who are suffering with obesity and also the young men who are suffering with obesity and I was once that that kid mm -hmm. who went through um, obesity and you know it's unfortunately you know kids can be very brutally honest yeah and, and you know they'll call you the names and and they'll tell you and they'll laugh about it and keep going and and uh, it can be very hurtful so. I am so glad that I'm able now to pour back into the kids of something that I actually went through. Right. And I can tell them how to overcome that. And not only just tell them how to overcome that, but also hold their hand as they walk through this fight against obesity. Yeah. And begin to share with them my journey and my story and how I got to where I am. So I'm about changing lives. You know, music is great, and that's how we, you know, we change life through our music, through our sermons, and, and through um, our speaking engagements, and whatever it is that you may do, um, it, it ultimately should be about, you know, helping somebody else, mm -hmm. and and that's just my life. Yeah. I've, I've, um, I've accepted that. Right. I've accepted that, that my call in, in this earth and to this world is to pour into somebody else. Yeah. That God didn't give what he gave me for myself, but he gave it to me so that I can give to somebody else. Right. So that's why I'm so glad. And uh, they're excited. Uh, I received their email just the other day, and they're really excited. And in fact, I have a few more dates uh, that I'm going to be doing with them um, because I am now, again, partnering up with that's them. That's awesome. Choices. So I'm excited about that. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, that's a then, big deal for me. And <laughs> not only that, but the kids that are involved in that are going to have an opportunity to see where you are where you were, where you're at now. Yes. They'll see yeah, in person where you're at now. Yes. And then they'll be have an opportunity to see your transformation even, uh, more, even more because absolutely. you're just starting and that's you're definitely right. not even right. finished or any, no, anyways. Yeah, absolutely, so. yes. Because we have about... 
I, I'm hoping, you know, I, it's, there's no rush. You know, this is a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Oh, know? for sure. Yeah, this yeah. is a lifestyle. So, you know, I don't have a, uh, you know, as much as I'm, I'm excited about having my 100 pounds party, you know, this year. Um, but I'm not in such a big rush. You know, I'm just making the adjustment to my life. I'm taking one day at a time. I keep putting one foot in front of the other. Right. And and I'm going to get that 100 pounds. Uh, I'm hoping preferably before uh, the end of the summer. And uh, you'll be coming to my all-white party. I will definitely yeah, come to your all-white yeah, party. Yeah, so, so. so the journey is uh, it's still good. But I'm, I'm excited about those kids. So uh, definitely be prayerful for them. I'm really excited about pouring into those kids. Yeah. It's crazy how we don't realize how many different types of foods our body metabolizes right. as sugar and right. then how much sugar we're actually getting in a day. Mm, so absolutely. like people put, you know, sugar in their coffee or their tea. Oh, I just yeah. put sugar in my tea. Right. I drink I drink green tea. I drink it straight. I don't put no coffee I'm no sugar or anything like that in it mm, anymore. Mm. I stopped doing that. Yeah. I come back Big right. time on breads that I eat, right. and, and so breads and then starches. Okay. Um, a lot of people don't realize that that metabolize your body metabolizes oh, that as sugar. Oh, yeah. um, bread, so like French fries, which oh, we all love big uh, to eat. <laughs> yeah. That's um, yeah, and even baked potatoes, all oh, of that yes. stuff. Really, your body metabolizes as sugar. Absolutely. Um, and a lot of people don't know, but bananas are a starch. Absolutely. Oh yes, <laughs> and it's very sugary too. Yes, yeah, a lot of sugar. In it. And um, and so. So it's like uh, apples are really good because it has a lot yes, of fiber, but but um, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's just it's, so it's really kind of be mindful. Have you done like um, a, a food journal and stuff like that to oh, to, to what you eat during the day? I think that helps us. I haven't done that yet. I need yes. to start because that'll help you keep accountable. Absolutely. Um, and then the kids have like the potato chips that they have with their sandwiches, yes. oh, and yeah. then the sugary drinks that their parents yes. are giving them. So it's like everything's like processed. Absolutely. Everything Absolutely. that they had. Every single piece on that lunch box is processed. Right, it is. And it's all, none, it none of it's natural foods or no. whatever. So it's just really crazy, like how... Yeah, we perish like, because of the lack of knowledge. I right. Mean, you know, we just, yeah. we don't, you know, I know my mother and them, you know, they didn't, you know, they didn't know any better. Oh, yeah. You know, they just, they gave us, uh, you know, our Spam sandwiches and, <laughs> yeah. and and ham sandwiches, bologna sandwiches and hot dogs. I mean, I grew up on hot dogs. Yeah. And, and pork and beans and weenies and, you mm. know. Yeah, which is good <laughs> stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, you know, um, you know, it just wasn't healthy for you. Yeah. You know, and, uh, and, you know, too much of anything can be oh, unhealthy. Yeah. So, um, I'm just, uh, I'm glad that now I'm walking to the knowledge of, of what it requires to be healthy and mm -hmm. to be whole. And to be able to share with some other people, not exactly. looking down on people. No, no, I don't. I don't look down on people. I just, you know, share just, you know, my journey, right, and what works for me. And uh, I've been blessed to do the. I don't know if you saw this on Facebook, but uh, I did the twenty-one, the Kendall Hunter Killing Obesity twenty-one day challenge. Okay. And uh, we had one young lady that actually uh, Tiffany and Tiffany Porter. Hey, big shout out to you, Tiffany. Hey, Tiffany. Yeah, she actually lost eighteen pounds. Nice uh, in twenty one days. In twenty one days, huh? 21 days on my twenty one day challenge. So um, that's just, great. You know, pretty much gave them uh, kind of what I've been doing mm -hmm. and what works. You know, the apple cider. I didn't see good. that, or I would have uh, followed you in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you gonna be doing it again? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm actually gonna do it again uh, next month. Actually, okay. Uh, the end of next month and it's going to go over into may awesome yes. that's awesome that's perfect because i have my uh, 25 year reunion i'm going back to south florida right. july 4th weekend oh yeah well, for that. Right. Yes. yeah so i want to yeah. you know continue to move forward and yeah no bread that. no rice and all that but you know if you're pretty it much out. cutting most of that out anyways yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's going to be good yeah you'll yeah. love it so, um, where would Kendall uh, like to see himself mm -hmm. in uh, two years? What you know, uh, you know, with your uh, all the different things that you have that you're doing com and, and make in um, impacting uh, people's lives, whether it's your music, speaking, right, whatever. Right. Uh, you know what? Uh, I am so excited about. You know what, so you don't really know where, 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 where really, what, the next two years, <laughs> that's the answer to the question. Yeah, because next if two anything years, were yeah. possible, what would you like? Uh, you know what, really, um, you know, I was I, I was raised up about you know, uh, music, you know, watching Jackson Fives, you know, we have these dreams about, yeah. well, you know, 
and I, I've been blessed. God has blessed me, you know. I mean, yeah, you have an amazing voice. So. You know, and, and so thank you so much to God be all praise. And I, I, I honestly speaking, I just, I have been blessed, you know, as, you know, a Devil Award nominee, uh, you know, a Gospel Choice Award, Best Male Artist of the Year. So, you know, I, I, there's been a little few plaques and trophies here and there, mm -hmm. you know, and just certain things that I have accomplished in the music industry. Mm -hmm. um, but I have so yet far to go. I mean, just so many other things I want to do. Yeah. Um, so, you know, but if I don't get another Grammy, if I don't get a Grammy, if I don't receive a Stellar or a Dove, I mean, as long as I'm touching lives and impacting yeah. lives and being in God's will, and I'm seeing people's lives change, um, that's 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 good enough for me. Yeah. And and whatever route that may be. So yeah. uh, in two years from now, uh, I'm I'm not sure exactly where I will be, but I do know that God is up to something, and I am literally flowing in that vein. That's and awesome. Yes, absolutely. You are you going to the Stellar Awards? I, I actually I am. They just had the Stellar Awards in Vegas. It didn't go this year. Oh, okay. uh, I went two years ago. Um, okay. Actually, but I am going next year. Because uh, it's going to be in Vegas again. But there's, um, you know what I was thinking of? There's also the Steeple Awards here. Oh, yes. Are you going to I, that? I, I, or? I think they had that already. Oh, maybe. If, yeah. I Did think they? they oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, Shandon. Yeah, yeah, so. Shandon. Hey, what's up, Shandon? <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Shandon. Oh, yeah, that's what I think it was like a week ago. Yeah, it was. <laughs> He told me, what did I know anything about gospel? And I kind of shut out after right. that. <laughs> no, you good. So, <laughs> you good. I was like, okay, it's because I'm Caucasian, right? No, right. no, no you, you pretty much, <laughs> listen, I want to tell you right now, you are pretty much up on it. Like, right. really, you really are. <laughs> You're on it. So, um, last question. Um, mm -hmm. If uh, anybody, well, I have two last questions, but if anyone wants to find out more about what you have going on, you know, where can they find you? Where can mm -hmm. they download your music? Um, follow you on social media, whichever. Yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm on Facebook, of course. I'm on Facebook, uh, the Kendall Hunter music page, Kendall Hunter page. Uh, you can follow me there, and also on Twitter, Instagram, Kendall Hunter music on the IG. Um, also, my music is in all digital outlet stores, uh, online stores. Um, and you can find Brighter Day, I'm Free, uh, my music from Miami Mass Choir, my music workshop choir. Um, all of it is online. Mm -hmm. And uh, CD Baby, iTunes, uh, the Play Store, Google Play Store. So uh, I'm just, I'm blessed. Uh, I, I really am. And I'm okay. excited. So just Google Kendall yes. Hunter, K E N D A L L yes. Hunter. Yes. Google him, and you can find it on whatever social media platform that's out there. You'll absolutely. find him on that. Yes, absolutely. Thank and you. So my last question for you is, mm -hmm. um, what do you say is, let's provide one takeaway. Mm -hmm. um, and if you have uh, some individuals that are looking to get into the music industry, mm -hmm. um, uh, what are probably the top, like maybe three suggestions that you provide to them mm -hmm. uh, to help them get to at least where as far as you've, you've gotten mm -hmm. to get some words and steeple and all that stuff. So. I tell people all the time and I tell artists all the time, there is no set rule. Um, you know, there is no particular thing, you know, some book that you have to have that tells you exactly how to rise or how to get to the top or how to be the, at the top of your game. I will say this, um, you know, just make sure that, you know, number one, uh, that you have good songs, you know, mm -hmm. um, yeah. you have to have good songs and uh, <laughs> You know your production could could be a little sucky, but if you got a great song Yeah, you know it, it, it can give you a chance to kind of you know get over on the other side you Right, know I mean? right um, but um, I would say you, you have to have a good song and then next you have to have uh, you know good production I think production is very uh, it's crucial in your mixing, your mastering. You know, those things are just essential. If you're going to be, uh, if your music going to be radio friendly, I mean, you got to do what radio requires. Right. You know, you got to have mixing, mastering. You know, not, you're not trying to do it out of the trunk of your car or out of the bathroom. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, um, yes, you must put the work in. And and, uh, um, and I would say also get around the people who you know um, that made it. Mm -hmm. you know, surround yourself around people who you know that's been successful in doing what you want to do. Right, right. You know, I would and, agree with that. Oh, absolutely. Not the people that failed. No, yeah. ma'am. No, ma <laughs> and also, you can learn from them, too, because you can learn what not to do. 
you know, you can yeah. learn, you can learn, you know, well, I won't go down that road. Right. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but you can learn uh, that yeah. from afar. You yeah. don't have to surround them. Right. You don't have to him. surround <laughs> Right. You have to get around and right. go eat with them. Right. Uh, but definitely surround yourself and hang around those people who, you know, that's being productive and who's going where you're trying to go. I mean, um, the, the eagles don't hang with chickens. Right. <laughs> that's no, true. <laughs> Remember that eagles do not hang with chickens. No, they do chickens not. are on the ground, eagles are flying high Hello. in the air. Watch out. Listen, you're going to help me <laughs> preach this after a while. Go ahead, Jack. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. That's right. So, that's um, awesome. Yes, I would say that. That's awesome. Well, I'm going to finish playing your song that we had. Oh, yes, and let me just say thank just, you to you're you welcome. and to all those who've been following me on Facebook and Twitter and IG. I really appreciate you so much. All of your encouraging words have been so uh, wonderful and amazing to me. Very helpful. <laughs> so I just want to play just like one minute of it and then we'll close out. Sure. Oh, we're looking forward to getting your new single. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that going to be everybody for tuning in and listening in today when we had a chance to interview uh, the infamous uh, Kendall Hunter, gospel singer, motivational speaker, author, and uh, we th and um, definitely the number one thing is a follower of Christ. So yes, thank you for coming out. Uh, and you heard it first. Uh, right here on Connecting Atlanta Radio, hosted on the number one internet radio station in the United States, the fastest growing world star hit radio.com. And stay tuned every Tuesday at 8 o'clock for when we have all of our amazing and special guests. And um, we do have an event coming up this coming Thursday. So if you want to get tuned in to any of our upcoming business workshops, be sure to visit us at ConnectingAtlanta.net and follow me all over uh, on Twitter, Instagram, and so forth at ATL Connector. And have a fantastic day, everyone. Bye-bye. The hot, hottest music. R&B. Hip-hop pop. I still get EDM. Indie. Old school. Side, side. <laughs> Check it. And sports talk. Right here. WorldStarHitRadio.com.